Hey, what's up guys? Sunday evening. Brought the family to uh, the biggest park around me and let Natty play and my wife's just hanging out with her doing some digging. Uh, I found a handful of pennies. Nothing past the 70s. But uh, just dug this hole and I dug me another first. It is a baby ring. Man. Let's see if I can. And it's gold. Really hard to see, but I think the initials are NJU. And it's so thin that when I pulled it out of the hole, uh, it was it was pretty mangled up. I tried to push the dirt out of it, and uh, it broke a little piece of it. it. Broke right off. I don't know if it was already broken. I just broke it the rest of the way or what. And I didn't see anything at the beginning. Oh, can't get it in the light. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I think that's a 10K. So, uh, <clears throat> really cool, my very first gold. All right, we'll catch you on the next hole. Hey guys, what's happening? Just a quick wrap up here. Try to make this video short as possible. My camera's acting up, so I'm gonna have to use my cell phone. But, uh, found me a couple fence staples, some nails, these don't appear to be extremely old, that's a piece of wire, nail, nail, nail bits, there's a big nail that doesn't look real old. Sorry, my hands are filthy. Then, just found bottle cap, pile of pull tabs for the donation bin. Found this, I'm pretty sure this is lead. The only reason I say that is, I mean, that took no effort. I don't know. I'm not exactly sure. I think it might be lead. We'll leave it at that. A washer. Six pennies. This looks like a 76. A zinc. Uh, 1970. I think most of them are from the 70s and 80s. 82. You get the picture. I think there was two zincs. I think these two here were zincs and the rest were coppers. I think that 82 is a copper. It might not be. But then obviously my first ever little gold ring Let's see if we can get it spun around here you might be able to see the if i can get the camera to focus i think that's a n j u not 100 percent positive but i think and then down there you can see the 10 and then it's got like a little if i Hadn't have broke it pulling it out of the hole. Uh, oh, my thumb's in the way. Oh, there we go. Um, it has a little, like, oval. It almost looks like a ring if you put it, try to hold it back together. Oh, I just can't get a good shot of it. But 
that there's a KT. There's the other half of the ring and the K you can kind of make out, but but yeah. First ever little gold ring. I don't know. Maybe some of you guys will know. Um, I haven't I just got home, so I haven't had a chance to look anything up on it or I don't know how to even begin researching anything like this, so but <clears throat> Maybe a, a kid's ring? I don't know. Maybe you guys will know. Kid's ring? Woman's ring? I don't I don't know, but I mean this thing it wouldn't even come close to fitting on my pinky. So I mean I I'm guessing child's ring. I don't know. But, uh, but, yeah, there she is. First piece of gold. I'm super excited. Wow, that's the best shot of the tin carrier. You can, <laughs> you can see it clear as day there. But, oh, man, you guys have no idea how happy I am. Well, a lot of you probably do. A lot of you probably remember your first... But that was that was amazing. It, it was ringing up really interesting. I I had cranked the sensitivity up because I was in a big open area where not a lot of people really hang out. I I don't know. I don't know if that thing's old or not that old. I just I have no idea anything about it. Any anything you guys can help me out with would be great. But um, you know. I had the sensitivity cranked way up and I ran into an area that just was loaded with iron. It was on the very back side of the park and that piece of land was donated by a family. Uh, man, I'm, I'm thinking early 1900s. So I don't know if I ran into an old house site. I'm going to have to start researching that and see. It was, it was really interesting though because there were some really big trees and um, they were kind of configured in a strange way and then I don't know how old uh, fence staples go back I'm guessing they go back probably quite a ways So I, I I don't know. I could have been on an old house site, but I'm going to have to go try to find something out about that. I just, I couldn't believe the amount of, of signals and, and I ran into it right before we were getting ready to leave. So believe me, I wanted to stay there till dark, but I just, I couldn't. So uh, we'll definitely be going back and hitting that uh, probably multiple times and uh, see what else we can dig up from there. But yeah, super excited and uh, leave you guys with a little clip of hopefully something that brightens your day. It'll be my daughter singing one of her favorite songs. <laughs> it is in the car, so it's not real loud, but it's still, still fun. But. All right, enjoy, and thanks for watching, guys.